in Zanzi, I'm very bothered by what is happening in the Sezu Meiwa case right now. For sure, we have waited this long, and we have waited this long for testimonies, especially from the people who were present at the Vosloros home of Kelly Kumalo. Now, we all are very sure of one thing. The five people allegedly to be the people who are, to, are taking Senzo Meiwa's life have come up and they have some testimony to spare out. Now, same thing goes to those who are at the other end. That includes Kelly Kumalo, Zanzile Kumalo, and of course, Longe Twala and the others. Now, today we've gotten the testimony of Zanzile Kumalo, but with all that she said, which we are going to talk about in a minute as I explain what I want to talk about, well, my question here is, why did they take this law? Because way back from 2014, when this case was fresh, when it was highly anticipated by a lot of people, Senzo Meiwa's case was at the peak at that time. And then we finally discovered that the Kumalos buried the case. Like we didn't hear enough about what had happened to Senzo Meiwa. The evidences on the spot in Vosloros were all tainted. And of course, there were a lot of things that were even said, right? Like the father of Longwe Twala coming up to talk about the fact that those three actually know what happened to Senzo. When I'm talking about those three, I'm talking about Kelly Kumalo, I'm talking about Zandile Kumalo, and I'm talking about Longwe Twala. Yes, that is a big issue. Why now? Why would she come up to court act as if she's been in pain yes probably she's been in pain because of all the trolls on media yes we get the pain she's been through but why take all this long because i feel yes because of that time wasted because of all of that stuff that has happened many people feel like oh kelly kumalo knows the truth Many people feel like Zandile Kumalo knows the truth. And of course, they don't want to speak out or they are probably hiding or shielding someone. For sure, we can't conclude just yet, but this is a big point to make. Why would you actually just burst in tears and point fingers? And again, that is some kind of an inconsistent testimony when you actually said you were in the kitchen and you crawled. I mean, who actually want to crawl when you hear mass shooting? like what happens that way yes so many inconsistencies but for sure we know she's been heard this very lately and we know very well that there's a lot of social media pressure on her now i just want to congratulate selo kakube for coming up to pressure the celebrities who think they are the top of the top because she didn't even want to come on to talk or let people see her visuals and her video while te giving this testimony but with the pressure from the media and what the judge has seen they have confirmed this now we don't know how this case is going to end but for sure we have to keep an eye on the testimonies and follow it strictly i'll be coming on this channel to talk about everything that is happening why this case proceeds Please feel free to leave your comments on the comment section. Is there any question you have? Is there anything you want us to talk about? I will definitely reply you. Thanks for watching this video until the very last end. Stay blessed. And for sure, we hope this case finally comes to end. And the family of the Meiwas can have peace as well.